Well, I love to sing my country song, but there's one thing that brings me more joy. That's sitting right down to your tasty meal. Guess you could call me the hungry cowboy. I might find it in a trailer or a restaurant, or maybe at my cousin's El Rose. Should have even been known to cook it for myself. Yeah, that's right, I'm the hungry cowboy. Cowboy. Oh, let's eat, kids. Welcome, friends, once again to an episode of The Hungry Cowboy. My name is Eric Nesnik, and today I am on East 6th Street in Austin, Texas. 6th Street over here is music, nothing but music. One bar after another, one band after another, one crazy crowd after another. On this side, the east side of 35, it's lots of brand new food trailers, in addition to some bars and fun stuff like that as well. And the food trailer I'm frequenting today is Kyoten. It is sushi. Sushi out of a food truck, baby. It is awesome. A couple guys started this thing. A couple of gentlemen who had worked in sushi restaurants, the very finest sushi restaurants in Austin and New York, places like that. And they decided, you know what, boys? Let's do our own thing. So they created Kyoten, a sushi food trailer here on the east side of 6th Street in Austin, Texas. All right, time for me to eat. My first course has arrived. Today I am starting with a lovely miso soup. I am certainly no vegetarian, I'm no vegan. That means I don't eat a lot of tofu, but one thing that I will always grab some tofu in is a good miso soup. Mmm. And the boys at Kyoten are not disappointing me. This is fantastic. Mmm. It's hot outside today, which means the outside of my body, this part, it's already warming up, but inside, I'm still chilly. Miso soup, oh, it makes my Buddha nice and warm. So now I'm, I'm well-rounded as far as, uh, you know, bodily warmth is concerned. Interior, exterior, I'm taken care of. Don't worry about me. Mm. Now, sir, you gotta be honest. Is there something in my teeth or not? Really? Because I would swear, not, not like here or on the bottom, but here it just feels like, you know, whatever. Oh, dang. Well, my next course is in front of me. And as soon as I can figure out how to use these wooden sticks, I should be in pretty good shape. This is just your good old tried and true California roll, a nice sushi restaurant staple. And certainly a sushi food trailer staple. Okay, hand, one hand here. No. One hand here, one hand. Hmm, will that get the fishies? Let's give it a try. A little fishy down the hatch. Mmm. Good night. It's a California roll, I know. And I know that I'm starting with a basic, but I'm telling you it's the best California roll I've ever eaten. The rice, and of all things to explain, I'm gonna tell you about the rice. It is, it's just different. It's got a different texture, and it's actually got a little bit more of a different rice taste. Usually the white rice is just, it's very bland. This one's, I'm gonna have to find out what they're doing here because that rice is actually very, very good. Dang it, I think I need a fork. Let's see, green stuff on. All right, number two, going in. It's kind of like Jaws. Mm -hmm. Oh, good Lord. Five second rule. Wow. Mm. If what I've got coming up next is anything like this California roll, I'm gonna be in good shape. Mm. All right, my fine feathered friends. My main course is right here in front of me after a drink of Popo Chico. Mmm. Mmm, mineral water. I think I taste, what is that? <clears throat> Uranium. Iodine. And gold. There's gold in that there water. Ooh, expensive water. But much more importantly, what I have here is batera. This is Japanese mackerel. Mm, 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 mm. On a bed of seasoned, it's like a ginger scallion seasoned rice with some shiso. This is my first time with Japanese mackerel. Oh, I hope that pictures well because it looks delicious. You've only got a couple seconds left. Because after that, let's go in here. Oh man. 
I know a lot of you, when you hear the word sushi, and yes, mother, I'm talking to you, you hear sushi, you think, yeah, raw fish, blah, blah, blah. It's so good, it's so, so good. Try whatever you need to do to, to get over that fear, if you have that, and just dig in. You can, I'll let you cheat with a fork. I mean, I look like an idiot with these chopsticks, you can look like an idiot, but if you need a fork, if you need your fingers, I don't care. Just get some of this deliciousness in your mouth. Come to Kyoten, come to Austin, come to East 6th Street, and get yourself some, some Japanese mackerel. Oh, it's very, very tasty. Wow, this stuff is good. All right, I'm digging in again. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. What fishy? And this, my friends, is Baku. Baku is full of fur and uh, probably not really loving life right now because it's a hot, hot day here. Um, I see you're seeing Baku's best side. Baku, are you hot? Oh yeah. Every Japanese sushi food trailer should have a house dog. This one happens to have Baku. All right, kids, I'm out of here. Time for me to fly. My name is Eric Nesnik, the Hungry Cowboy. I am still younger than I look, but older than I feel. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Kyoten Japanese food trailer on East 6th Street in Austin, Texas. I will catch up to you next time. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What's that, is swimming? No, oh, no, no. No, I will eat you. No, don't eat me. No, I have to eat you. Please don't eat me. But you look so tasty. Oh, but I'm really not. I know I look good, but I taste terrible. You're lying. I've already eaten your brother and your cousin. Mmm, and now I've eaten you too. And you are delicious. <laughs>